Okay, so when you first walk in, they got the little sticker on the door. And then this is the waiting area. We got this cute little neon light. We got the couch from Walmart, area rug from Amazon. And this is like a little closet where like we keep all of our like coats, purses, and just extra little stuff. I'm not gonna open it up, but um, and then this is like where our clients watch TV. There's like snacks and stuff, and there's also waters in the fridge if they want any. So yeah, this is where our clients wait, but usually they don't wait too long. They probably only stay here for like five to ten minutes while we're like finishing up or something. And this trash can, I actually have to re-spray paint, but I spray painted this and I bought it from like um, Target. So this is where you first walk into my area. And so right here, we have some storage bins and then I have like all my nails on display. And I actually got this frame from Burlington. It came all together and then I just took out um, all the pictures that were in there and filled them with my own. And then in these drawers, I have like extra bottles, um, my soak off bowl. This is all just extra drawers of acrylic and then just some extra acrylics that I don't really use anymore. And then this right here is just little knickknacks and just stuff that I have and that I use. Same thing with here, just extra storage basically. And then over here, this is like where my cleaning stuff is. So this area right here is my nail area, as you guys can see. We'll get into depth in that in a second. And then I got like a real nice big body mirror and then little chairs for my clients. Cause sometimes this isn't enough since there's a hairstylist and two other lash checks. So I also have this for my clients and then I have this little um, wall I made. I made it out of grass panels and then I hot glued um, all these flowers into it. And it turned out really nice and cute and I love it. I thought I would use it more for like my background and stuff when I take pictures, but I actually don't. So it's kind of just there for decoration, but it goes around with the rest of the area nice to me. And then when you keep coming back on this way, we have the bathroom, and of course, we still got the pinks going in the bathroom. I got this little automatic trash can that I love that I got from Amazon. And yeah, the bathroom's pretty simple. Got that. There's me. And yeah, of course, I gotta have my pink soap. And that's pretty much it for the bathroom. And then we got Money Never Sleeps, because in here, we'll be working all day. <laughs> So let's get into this area. This is where I keep my acrylics and I got my glitters down here. And I pretty much like to have all my stuff organized and displayed. And I also have them organized by brand. And I'm not gonna lie, this shelf right here is the one that I use the most. And then I have all my gel polishes for my nail art. This right here is ventilation and it has like a tube that goes outside here, like you guys can see. And it just sucks up all the fumes. This is the same thing that I put over top of my desk, and it sucks up the fumes and dust while it melts. And then takes it outside. And I have my drill paper towel. These are Viva paper towels. Nail tech should definitely invest in these because they absorb all of the moisture and honestly, well, excuse me, not moisture, all of the liquid. And honestly, these last way longer than regular paper towels. Pretty much everything on this desk is from Amazon. Even this little makeup thing, even the, as you guys can see, my desk got a little messy for me doing nails and stuff, but I got this makeup organizer from Amazon that I just have like all my stuff on. As you guys can see, this, I've had this for a year now, so it's pretty much time for a new one, but it still does the job. And this is where I just keep all of like my necessities, top coats, glues, all that stuff just right there. That's very convenient, of course, you know, coronavirus. So I got the Lysol, hand sanitizer, all that stuff. This is my brushes. And then I got this little cute little um, flower, lotus flower thing, I guess you could call it. I got it from Burlington. And I just use that to hold up my jar for my liquid. And that's pretty much it for the desktop. Right here is where I keep my stuff. And um, so in this first drawer, of course, my tools, buffers. I have like these little rings that I just got from like Shein for um, my clients to put on when um, 
right now I take pictures and stuff. Of course I have tips, I have different types of tips. These are extra long, these I use for my short, these are just some extra ones I have of the extra long. And these are just like kind of regular straight ones, but yeah, I have different nail tips for different sets. And then in this drawer is where I keep like all my foils, like little like stuff like this. And um, that's so many, so many things. So much thicker than all these um, glitters, some more foil glitter. I got these like big pieces of foil, which I got from Amazon. They're really helpful. This I bought this almost two years ago, guys, and look how full it still is. So I would definitely get this from Amazon. We use gold foil a lot. And that's my drawer. And this drawer is where I have like my nail files. Um, this is like all my charms and stuff. I had just ordered some new ones. So yeah, I keep like all of that type stuff in here. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it gets pretty deep with how much stuff is in there. So that's where I keep all my charms and stuff. Honestly, I was just saying that I need something different to where I can see all of them a little bit better. But yeah, then here's like some more stuff. Like I got like my marble tints, like a big thing of glitter that didn't fit in the drawer above. And just like little stuff. I just like use this for um, encapsulated set. And these are buffers um, for like if I do um, manicures for men and stuff like that. And it also shine as well. This drawer right here is just literally extra nail tips that I had. And I wrote like on the bags what sizes are in here because I have had so many of the same ones. I had to start writing which ones were which. And then in this last drawer, I got my rhinestones and um, just different cases of different ones. I got these little pearl ones. But this is just my drawer for rhinestones. And honestly, that's pretty much it for my area. I'm right across from the waiting area. This is the point of view from me sitting down. But yep, this is my area. And back there we have the hair area. And I don't know if you guys can see that door right there, but that goes back into the lash area. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna just give you guys a quick glimpse of the hair and lash area. There's me again. But here is um, the little hair area. It's not done yet, so I honestly didn't wanna show you guys. I'm gonna replace this chair because we're doing black in here now. So I got this new chair I have to order, but this is pretty much it for the hair area for right now. Still needs some love. But this is the lash area. And I have two lash tags, like I said before. Here's their little additional waiting area for their clients because sometimes their clients will just wait back here instead of being in the front with me. And I had this little wallpaper up. But, yep, that's pretty much it for my shop tour goods. We got the hair area. We have my area. 